Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Are you going to join university sooner or later? Then this video is for you. I'm going to talk about top 5 things which you have to remember when you join university. Mostly students do not know them and this affects their future. So let's get started with the first one. The first day when you enter in university, you do not know anyone. Everyone will look like stranger for you. And at the same time, because it will be your first day, you will be passionate to study there keenly. But at the same time, your self-confidence loses. This may be due to many reasons, like you have seen for the first time boys and girls same time at same place, talking very friendly, laughing and roaming around in university. Or this may be due to there is a group in front of you uh, that is continuously looking at you and you feel that now they will come to you and start dragging. Or, this may be due to you don't know what will happen today. Or you may be thinking in mind, if someone will ask my FSC marks, then what will I say? Or this may be due to your clothes are not comfortable or you are thinking these are not like others are wearing. So in these circumstances, 100% recommended to you not to ask address from any student because they will send you to the wrong area and when you ask address and reach on that area maybe you do not find that area and you again ask for the right way from any other student then maybe again he or she will send you to wrong area. This may be due to they do not want to tell you about the right area or this may be due to they want to do ragging or this may be due to even they even don't know that area where you want to go. So simple and appropriate way is to ask address from any security guard those who are roaming around in university and ask address from any teacher. You can find teachers in staff room or you can ask from teachers those are present in classrooms, uh, those who are teaching. By entering from the second door and by asking permission, uh, you can ask from any teacher. Or you should have a map of university. You can get this from prospectus. Well, this was the first thing that you have to remember when you join university. The second one is when you meet your coordinator, feel free to tell him that you want to be class representative. Yes, class representative. This is really very, very important. This will help you to be prominent in the person who is ready to take any duty. Teachers love their class GRs or CRs means girl representative and class representative. So most of the teachers give grades accordingly. If there is someone who is also willing, so you should not refuse. You should say, ma'am or sir, we can do voting for this. Remember this thing that class CR and GR are not elected are definitely not elected due to their highest marks but they should be confident and talkative because after the coordinator there will be class in charge they have to plan get togethers they have to store all the records of their class fellows even they have to remember their role numbers and even names of each class member. They have to coordinate with the teachers. Um, for example, they have to coordinate with the teachers when any teacher will be absent or they do not want to take class or uh, they want to take a makeup class. 
they have to check whether class is facing any issue or not they have to resolve each and every class matter they have to listen every student before giving any decision they have to remain good with every student so that if any student faces any problem they will feel free to discuss it with class gr or cr they have to tell the rules and regulations of university to every student they have to give every information regarding to university to their fellows when they will get to know from uh, university groups or news well duties aside if you do not want to become class gr or cr then you have to be prominent with active class participation and this can be happen just when you go to university after revising your previous and coming lecture also by giving extraordinary respect to all the teachers which is the third thing of our today's video respect your teachers you should not be like those students who are rude with their teachers who have no sense of talking with their teachers if you will do that then this will show your background your family your mother your father even it represents your school and college teachers and definitely you will lose your grades in your papers and also in front of allah every teacher has different rules for their class so you just have to follow them this will shows that you are a good student rules may include not to use mobile phone during lecture and your mobile phone should be on silent mode also um, you should not eating and sleeping is not allowed also absentees are not allowed also assignment submission should be on time or it may include some teachers says like uh, give respect to me i will give respect to you um, and cross talking with teacher is not allowed rude behavior with teacher is not allowed and during the lecture gossips are not allowed no late comers etc etc so you should follow those rules do not disturb your teacher by doing a violation of such rules students do that but i want to say that if you will follow those rules uh, this will shows your maturity and your teacher will be very happy uh, from you so the fourth one is make friends as faster as you can this thing is really very very important from the first day try to talk to your fellows nicely softly and maturely so that they will ready to make you friend well i have seen those students who also make friends by asking can you be my friend please well this is really a wrong way of making friends your friend circle represents you so make friends who are like you your friends should not be involved in any wrong activity like smoking or in love with opposite gender hope you understand your friend should be those who are good in their studies and those who are hard working you can easily understand about these things when you start talking to whom you are going to make friend this will clearly shows his or her behavior let me tell you the benefits of making friends in early days of your university if you will be having a strong friend circle then no one literally no one from your seniors will try to do ragging of your group you will never be trapped the other benefit of making good friends uh, is you will help one another in studies like if you could not able to understand any topic someone will help you from your group and maybe you will help uh, your friends in something else uh, many things you will have to learn in your first semester on the top of the list is making good assignments and presentations uh, so you will do this very well with the help of your friends remember asking for help is really a good thing this shows that you do not have pride and there is a moral lesson that pride hath a fall when you see someone from your friends working very nicely and actively please 
please i recommend to appreciate him one more benefit that i would love to mention here that when you have a friend circle this will gives you confidence to present in front of whole class during your presentation it will help you and also when you do not have a class you will never ever feel bored in your friend circle when you with your friends go to cafe and eat food together this will increase love between you well there is a suggestion for you friend circle should have more than four fellows the last one thing which you have to remember when you join your university once you will become regular then do active participation in activities which your university offers like get membership from societies if you do not know about what is the society then listen societies are specially designed for students self grooming and for increasing self confidence also for raising good qualities in students like honesty punctuality and to make students responsible different societies place different functions and offer different skills for making students skilled persons and professionals like societies includes debating society uh, microsoft courses society dramatic society science subject society uh, it societies musical societies blood donation societies etc so by doing participation you will involved in various activities happening in societies which will help you in many things a suggestion for you which is um you can be a part of three societies at a time and remember this is not really necessary to work in every uh, activity of your society because societies will also give you relief for your studies when needed with active participation in societies you also have to roam around in universities see what are the things which are present in your university uh, what are the places which you have to explore in your university what are the activities which are happening in your university see your auditoriums especially sports complex library seminar rooms your grounds and try to take information as much as you can about your university and the last thing if you comes to your university by a bus just a suggestion for you also try to search local way because this will help you going your home in any emergency situation these are all the things which i think you should know because when i joined my university i was unaware from many of the things which i have mentioned in this video so i think so this will really really help you a lot um for uh, boosting up your self confidence when you join your university so thank you so much for watching hopefully this video will help you a lot take care allah hafiz